a laser capable to engrave glass is a question but today we're going to figure it out by some test the machine i used in the video is a 20 watt fiber laser it is mixed photonics laser source with 110 millimeter working field before we get into the test please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like it really helps me out immensely thank you so much for your support we didn't do any treatment to the glass no spray or paint we need for tests are a piece of stainless steel plate a short glass plate tin sticker an aluminum plate a piece of carbon steel plate and a piece of paper Number one, let's put the stainless steel plate under the glass. We need to find the focus first. It should be the focus to the stainless steel, not the glass. First try is at 1000 speed to 100 power and 0 0.05 hatch. It's too light. We can barely see any mark here. We need to slow down the speed. The second try is at 500 speed, 100 power, and 0 0.05 hatch. It's still light. We can see a little white silhouette. Next, let's try 100 speed, 100 power, and 0 0.05 hatch. We can see the dark engraving. We need to clean up the generated waste. I can feel the engraving curves to touch it. Let's give it another try. 50 speed, 100 power, and 0 0.05 hatch.
In、cleaning up the waste, we can see the engraving is much fine, clear enough. Let's see what is left on the stainless steel. I believe it should be the metal waste generated by laser. Let's clean it up. It's a repeated engraving because we made four tests and a different speed. The two engravings on glass and stainless steel colors are similar. Number two, let's try to put the aluminum plate under the glass. We'll keep the parameters the same: 50 speed, 100 power, and 0.05 hatch. It seems okay. Let's clean the waste. I feel heating when touching the engraving. It's a good engraving, but the color is different. Is light gray. Let's see the aluminum plate. There is a lot of waste. The colors of two engravings are also similar. Number three. Put the carbon steel plate under the glass. We'll keep the parameters the same: fifty speed, one hundred power, and point zero five hatch. It's also fairly fine. I can feel heating and engraving curves by touching it. The color is changed again. It's like the metal rusty color, similar to what shown on the carbon steel plate. Number four. Let's try to put a piece of paper under the glass. We'll keep the parameters the same: fifty speed, one hundred power, and point zero five hatch.
is likely to be out of quality and cannot remove the waste by tissue rubbing. And the paper is burnt cut directly and even leak the laser to the bottom mental. Number five, I also tried to engrave the tin sticker. It's filled. The laser cannot leave mark at the glass bottom. To summarize the test we did today, number one, the fiber laser cannot function well directly on glass. The glass I use today is the normal one for windows, so I cannot say it's confirmed a hundred percent. If you do suggest to test other glass, please write it in the comment. I will try to make the test. Number two. Is pure physical effect of fab laser for glass. When we put the mental plate under glass, the laser will go through glass and engrave the mental directly. The mental shavings generated by the instantaneous high temperature of laser will react on the lower surface of the glass, resulting in a physical stripping effect. So we'll see the waste. Actually, there are many small mental particles left on the surface of mental and glass. Number three, the glass engraving will change colors as the bottom atoms. We can see the engravings differences. Number four, is physical effect. So the glass surface is damaged for sure. What I can say is the thicker the glass, the better the engraving. Number five, if you need engraved glass like this way by fab laser, mental bottom is best, and choose the parameters for deep engraving. So here we get to the conclusion the fab laser cannot engrave the glass directly. There must be some assistance for helping. Do you have other confusions on laser marking machines? Please write it in the comment. I will try to reply you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Please don't forget to subscribe me and I will upload more useful videos in the future. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.